All right, guys, welcome back to Alex Makes It, and check it out. Today, we're going to be teaching you how to make a little succulent garden. And uh, so, let's get to it. So, today, uh, of course, we're all in quarantine right now. And uh, lucky for me, the uh, local nurseries are all still open. And of course, we, uh, we, we stayed socially distant. I uh, just uh, went in, did my thing, got out, just so I can uh, get some stuff. And because I'm at home anyways, so I might as well do, do, uh, do this stuff and uh, teach you guys. So uh, today we got some of these. This is called coral carpet. As you can see, it's really pretty. It's got this like it's it's like a carpet, and it's uh it's really good at filling up. Here's another carpet-like thing called a uh, sedum little missy. It's uh it's lighter colored. You know, it's more uh it's uh, it's nicer. It's it's more it's got that more of a well, missy kind of a feel. You know, and uh, these two right here, these are Echeveria blue atoll. And this is a different kind of species of Echeveria. I don't know the name of this one, but I saw it and it had that vibrant purple look. I needed something that you know kind of stood out from all the green because you, you want a little bit of contrast from all this. And uh, so yeah, and another thing where you can contrast is adding stuff like these. These are other succulents that uh, I just kind of pulled snippets from, uh, from in our garden here. And uh, these grow pretty tall. They actually grow into like tall, tree like stuff but when they're small like this it takes a couple years for them to grow and so it'll, it'll grow to about this tall or so you can trim it and uh, the trimmings turn into more plants and uh, that's what's nice about these the trimmings so one thing I want to give you guys a little tip when I bought this uh, coral carpet here it came with these little bits right here as you can see and these are just leaves from other succulents and so these leaves when you're when you're buying this stuff and you see this stuff don't pick it out uh, this stuff if you plant in the dirt just you know little bit just kind of stick it in the dirt and have the head sticking out like that this will grow into new succulent and uh, eventually it'll just sprout and have a little kind of a thing that kind of looks like this different species but even then uh, these it just grows it's already got a little nub sticking out and it's starting so uh, let me take these out right now put them on the side so I take this out and plant it so uh, yeah so the thing about this you want a center piece and so that's what you these carpets and all these are good and nice to surround it, but you want these center pieces right here, like something like this. So these will be in the middle here, and uh, kind of doing their thing, and they'll have these guys just sticking out on the sides, coming up. And uh, what I have right here is uh, this is just a really old um, aloe. It was just in, it was in our front yard. It was just sitting there and it got neglected for a lot of years. So I decided why not uh, you know see if we can find a new home for it right here. It's a little dingy looking, but uh, you know. You gotta, you gotta work with what you got, and uh, you know, see if I mean, that's one piece of life right there. See if we can save it, give it, a, you know, give it a nice fresh start. And so, uh, one thing we have here, this concrete bowl, I made this a while back, and I can actually uh, teach you guys how to make one. Cause uh, all I did was grab a, a metal, a large metal bowl, stuck it upside down on the ground, and just kind of layered concrete on top of it until it's solid, and then let it solidify. And it just did this thing right here. It's kind of pretty. It's uh, it's really, it's neat. And uh, so when you're doing this, you don't need anything special, any special dirt or anything. We're just using uh, the soil from our ground right here. And uh, yeah, it works because it's succulents. They don't need you know, a, a highly rich, you know, uh, kind of kind of soil. They like it a little more acidic, a little more sandy. And so this works. And I have I have normal soil mixed in. It's it's dried right now, so you can't. So it just looks like wood chips and stuff. But there is soil inside, just a little bit, just you know, kind of fertilize it, and um, yeah, there you go. Nothing special, and honestly, you don't need anything special to do this. That's the magic of just planting small stuff like these, like these succulents. All you need is a spade and some water. Simple as that. Let me put this to the side real quick. Yeah, you just grab this thing. Honestly, you don't even need this. You can just dig with your hand. If you um, I'm I'm cool with it. But uh, there's people. Oh, there's a little bird right here. A little friend. Got a little friend right there, but um, hey, birdie. Uh, yeah, so take your little spade. And uh, the thing is, I don't like to water this right before. If it's been wet for a while, that's cool. The, the soil is nice and uh, nice and rich and wet, but don't water it right before because it'll just get really muddy and mucky and it's gonna get all over the place. Instead, just leave it how it is. Don't even water these right before because when, if you water it right before, the soil becomes loose and then it just once you pick it out of the pot, it's gonna start falling apart. So I'd rather leave it the way it is. So you see, it just pops right out like that. What's up, buddy? A little bird here is in front of me. That's cool, because we have our uh, birdhouse right here. 
Uh, you can't see it right now, but the bird house, the, the bird feeder, sorry. Uh, yeah, it keeps the birds coming. He's just chilling there. But anyways, let me get back to this. Uh, yeah, I just kind of, you just kind of just make a little space right here. And the nice thing, if it's been wet before, it's more solidified and it's easier to work with. Now that it's kind of loose and dusty, it's really, uh, if you try to dig a hole, it kind of collapses in on itself. So that's stuff to consider when you're working with this. But just make it deep enough where you can plant it and make it to the side a little bit more. That's a good spot. A little deeper. And then let me just do a little thing right here for this guy. Just kind of maybe squeeze the sides a little bit if it's stuck in there, but these are pretty loose. And then kind of fill that in right there. Make a little space right here for him. Happy little succulents. Our bird friend right there is just chillaxing. Pull this out a little bit more. A little excess soil coming out. Okay. And uh, just some rocks in here. Let me just put this to the side. Just kind of lightly cover the edges. Make sure it's all nice and neat. Okay there. And then, take out some of these rocks. You can put these rocks in afterwards. You know, put it back, kind of give it a nice little look. Just kind of, this is your thing. This is your masterpiece. This is your art. Just kind of, uh, you don't have to follow exactly how I'm doing it. But, uh, you know, just do what you want to do. Make it, make it your art. And so, now we're going to, I'll stick these in at the end. Let's loosen this up. This is a six pack. These are for six dollars. Most uh, most nurseries have them for about that price too. I think these are all grown together. So let me see. Let me kind of get it upside down. Hey buddy. More birds are on the side there. Kind of just watching what we're doing. And uh, this is a little. These. You can tell they've been sitting there a little too, a, for a little while too, because uh, since they're so overgrown, when they come fresh, they're, they're not usually this overgrown. So the roots are kind of mended together. There you go. Let me grab a uh, little something here. There's a box just so we don't get too much dirt and soil on our nice granite here there we go there we go it came off and you don't want to cut it because you might break more than you'd like but just kind of shimmy it just jimmy it just kind of lightly loosen it and honestly you might, even, might not even have to I want to split this into two just so ah, there we go just so I can cover more space with it. But let's not try to do too much damage here. Mostly the roots that are stuck together at the base. And then these are kind of intertwined. I may need the scissors, in fact, just so I don't do too much damage. Let me go grab my scissors. All right, I got my scissors. Magically appeared. And so, we're just gonna gently, surgically, use. I'd rather not cut it, but it's unfortunate. It's so overgrown. So you may lose a little bit of the edging after a while, start to brown. But remember, here's one thing. Here's the magic of succulents. Every piece that gets cut off, broken off, uh, severed, it all regrows. These little pieces that come off right now that I cut off, these, they actually, this already has roots on it. Let me show you guys. There you go, check it out. There's roots on it already. So, you uh, just kind of just stick it in a little bit of soil. This is gonna regrow right away. That's the magic of succulents. We have all these pieces right here. And so, let's just kind of uh, do a little thing here. And it won't look as pretty right now, just because uh, the stuff you see that people make it all super pretty at first, it's not going to be pretty after two, two months or so. After a while, it becomes overgrown and nasty. But uh, the point of this is to make a long-term, nice-growing batch of succulents. So we're just kind of... 
go. Because remember, this is all going to roll over. So the point of this is long term, how it's going to look once it's all settled in and growing. So that's one half. Let's get our other half in. And I'm trying to think. I want a, a good tip sometimes is to just kind of place it on top first to see how it's going to look like before you plant it. And so you can kind of see it, it's going on right now. These two are looking real nice. They are going to get a little bit bigger so that's why I have a little bit of space in between them. And so, let's see, I like this, let's see, it's a good spot right there, I can do that, okay, get these out of the way first, and let me see, I want to do something, this one you can actually kind of shimmy off, there you go, no biggie. Okay, let's find a little spot for you. And one thing about having it in a pot is the more you dig, the higher it gets. Just like when you add something to water, the water gets higher, right? So you want to account for that. Don't bury it too deep. Don't bury your initial stuff too deep because once you start digging out the dirt for the others to make way for the other stuff, it's gonna start uh, it's gonna start raising the dirt level a little bit. So we could put this. Actually, yeah, this is good. Right here, right on the edge. Do that. Try to fill in the little space that it has. There we go. Not too shabby. What sucks about succulents though sometimes is like when dirt gets into the little leaves, it'd be hard to get it out at first. It eventually washes down. Just at first it's kinda like ah, there's dirt in the in the thing, you know? There we go, our happy little plants. Just kind of fill out the edges right here. There we go. A little bit more. Just kind of because it's on the edge there, it doesn't have too much dirt. There we go. Give these guys a little bit of love. Alright, and now we have these guys. Let's kind of uh, let's get them in between here. That's a good spot. That's a good spot right there. Might grab a little bit more later. Plant some more in here. It doesn't hurt to have more of these guys. Let's kind of trim them every now and then. And this little guy. I'm loving this guy. Look at her. She's just guy girl. No, look, look at it. <laughs> it's just stunning. All right. All right. So uh, we got her out. It, he, her, it. I'm gonna call it a her. She's she's pretty. And uh, we're just gonna make this little room for her. Crowd because do remember these will grow a little bit and so that's the thing here so I'm actually gonna sell this out a little bit move this over just the hair just the hair okay draw a nice little home for, for her it there we go Good. Go, our nice little succulent patch. I'm gonna add some more of these guys later. Yeah, and then uh, you can add some gravel on top. You can add little stones. Well, that's not a good one. There we go some more stones. Just kind of add them in between the same stones we picked out earlier. Hopefully the lighting looks alright to you guys. The uh, sun kind of went down a little bit. Some more of these little stones. I have more stones right here, actually.
All right, some uh, kind of river stones, a little bit of dirt on them. They will wash off right away. Just kind of add them in between. Ooh. And then, uh, you know what? Let me edit this a little bit. Let's cut off this little dead piece. Dead piece. Trim up there. Alright, and uh, you know what? Just give it a little second life. We'll see what happens. Why not, right? This is life, you know? Do what you can for those that can't. This little guy needs our little help. Give it. Make it a little deeper. There we go. Little buddy is nice and secure in there. Hopefully he'll, he'll root better. And with time, grow some more pretty leaves. Just kind of add, we'll add these in somewhere else. But yeah, simple as that. We have our little uh, garden right here. It's gonna, I'll show you guys the video in the future, update you guys, keep you all in the loop. Because uh, these will grow more. All these carpets, they, uh, they, they tend to grow out a little bit. They'll kind of spill over. That's the point of this. And uh, yeah, and these will you know, grow a little bigger, become the centerpieces. And uh, simple as that, you know? Don't have to follow it this way. I'm just giving you guys all these are just tips on how to do this, and uh, just make it your canvas. Do do as you uh, do as you may, and uh, hope you guys enjoy. And all right, so we found a nice little home for right here on the edge of our patio, and uh, these boxes, uh, these little uh, baskets are going to get filled with other lavender such flowers like this one. This is a uh, kind of um, rosemary, and so uh, we have, yeah we were editing our garden, and so. All you got to do is just water it. It's already looking nicer. There you go. Let it soak in. It's going to soak in. So you don't want to water too much because there is no hole in the bottom. But otherwise, there you go. That's our little succulent garden. All right, guys. Well, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, we are a fairly new channel here at uh, Alex Makes It. And so the point of my, uh, my YouTube here was uh, we're going to be teaching you guys how to do all these different things from our... Uh, from uh, you know, tying fishing knots or you know, editing, uh, working on your garden, building, you know, anything, anything out of wood, because uh, that's what I do. I, uh, you know, I just go on all these high adventures, and you know, traveling to Colorado, Wyoming, all these places, all of this stuff. I want to take you guys to these places with me, show you guys everything I do, because uh, this is this is a wonderful life we have. We got to make the best out of it, and uh, I just want to take you guys along. So if you guys want to see more content, just like and, uh, like and subscribe down below. And uh, yeah, comment anything else you guys want to see. I'm going to make some more stuff. I'll be seeing you guys later. Check you later.